Today, I have more Dollar Tree cuteness. Keep watching. I'm Brandy and this is Making It My Own. All right, number one is a fall topiary. We're going to have some greenery here. These are our thrifted pieces of greenery. I have a thrifted little mini wreath down there. These are some greenery pieces that are on a garland. Really, really pretty. I'm gonna pick off the cream colored. And you'll see below, I have three of those crackled glass or ceramic pumpkins from the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna start by figuring out my setup. Now I know I'm gonna need some foam and in order to hold that in, I'm gonna cut a piece of scrap paper, make a little circle there for the bottom. I'm just gonna hot glue it down on this wreath so that we can press our picks into a piece of styrofoam instead of gluing it all together. It makes the items more versatile so you can change things up. Now I'm gonna take a scrap of styrofoam so easy. Take this out of some boxes from something you've gotten in the mail. Then I'm going to add some hot glue. You're going to need Gorilla Glue or some E6000 for this project because it is a shiny glass. Be sure also that you use some alcohol to wipe down all your pumpkins so that that glue gets some good grip. Now you're going to pick whatever type of matching, coordinating, whatever makes your little heart happy greenery, fall greenery, preferably, and I'm gonna mix it up a little bit. So I'm gonna use these little pieces, and you can see here I am doing four corners. So I've got kind of a square shape, and then I'm just gonna fill in in between. This is very easy. I'm tucking this in between the wreath form and the pumpkin, and it goes right into the styrofoam. If you don't have styrofoam, you could always put your picks right into your wreath. Now I'm going to start adding these little pieces. They look, I don't know, like little seed pods maybe. Not really sure what you would call them. And I'm going to do those in a square as well. I like the look of this. And so far we've got our orange and our cream and we will be be bringing in some bluish green when we put the eucalyptus in there. Okay, so far so good. First pumpkin down, first layer down. Now I've decided that I want my orange to go in the middle, so I'm just gonna add a good bit of glue and conveniently enough, there's a hole in the bottom, so you're just gonna go at an angle, slide that straight on there, make sure that it's level, and I was standing above it looking down, hold it until it is dry and secure. Then we're going to take the last pumpkin, same thing, going to put a good bit of glue on here. We don't want anything to topple over and break. And then put it on a slant there and then put it straight down. You don't want to break anything, so just be gentle with this. I was afraid because it has a crackle finish that it may be a little more fragile than your normal ceramic or glass pumpkin, so just something to keep in mind. Be careful. Okay, so now I've got this beautiful bluish green eucalyptus that I have cut into pieces and I'm going to start tucking those in that bottom layer of greenery. And then we'll move up a little bit between the pumpkins in a minute. I'm just kind of looking to see what I like here. I don't have a particular pattern for this, but I do like to try to space them out kind of evenly so that I get a good distribution of all the colors all the way around. So from all angles, so you could actually put this in the center of your table if you wanted to or on your bar because it looks nice in all directions. Just be sure that you rotate your piece and that things are looking like you want it to look. So I'm laying some pieces flat and some at an angle, putting some on top and some underneath and some in between. These little picks were also thrifted. I don't know if I mentioned that. So now I'm between the top and the second pumpkin and I am just adding on some little leaves there. I didn't use any of the orange and yellow between these because I have all that color, the cream, and the orange in the top two pumpkins. So I just wanted to add the eucalyptus 
between these layers. I'm just using a pick to help me press it in between the layers so that I don't put too much stress on it by trying to put my finger in there to hold it still. Okay, now I'm going to add a couple of pieces on the top and a little, little more in between. You can use a dowel rod or a pen or a pencil, piece of wire, or whatever you have to kind of tuck those things in there. And that's what I've done. I want to let them have a little bit of movement. So I'm only putting the glue on one end so that the tips of the leaves, you know, kind of stand out. And this is what we have. Gonna look at it, see if you want to add anything else. And at this point, you can certainly do that. Give me a thumbs up if you like this one. Project number two is going to be our home swag. Now this is a Dollar Tree sign. They have a variety of gorgeous signs. Pick whichever ones that you want. And then we're gonna have some pieces that go with this that are gonna coordinate with these colors. So that bluish green, aqua turquoise, teal, whatever color you wanna call it, creams, and some orange, white. I'm gonna set this off. And of course, you know, I'll have my typical brown burlap in there as well. Now, to kind of give this little sign a glow up, you're going to want to take some dark brown paint or some dark gray, something like that, and go down these lines. As you can see here, where they made this project, you can it kind of looks papery and kind of cheapy because you can see little white flecks. If you go down your centers like this with this, a darker colored paint, it really makes it look higher end. In my opinion, it really makes a difference. And I'll show you when I'm done with this, one side, the difference between the two sides and the look of it. You can already see there on that O what a difference that makes. So we're just rubbing a little bit on. I have a, like a fine tip marker. I'm just gonna put that in there and then rub it back off. And every bit of the paint that needs to stay is going to stay right where we put it. So you see the difference here? Look at the difference in the two sides. That makes a big difference. You could also, I guess, use a Sharpie or some type of a marker if you've got something that's narrow and long enough to fit into that crack. Just so easy. And it really does make a big difference in the appearance of this little sign. But you do this or leave it out whichever way you prefer to do it and you know maybe some of the signs are in better shape than mine was. Okay feel free to distress your edges if you need to. Now this is a wreath, a rectangular wreath or swag type form. It's wire and it has little I guess tinsel type branches or holders on it. It was $5.99. I got it from the thrift store, so I'm not sure where it originally came from, but you can get yours at any craft store. Or if you don't want to use this type of form, you can use pipe cleaners and hot glue them right to the back of your sign. Just not even have that big form back there. This is just going to make it a little more sturdy. And since I had it, I wanted to take the opportunity to try it out. Now I've just flooded over the wire there with some hot glue. And I'm actually using my cold temperature um, glue with this so I don't burn myself. And then I'm going to take some, I think this is 3M tape, and put that right over the top. That is really going to make a good strong hold so that this swag doesn't go anywhere. Nothing's going to fall apart, hopefully. Ideally, I suppose I should say. And we're going to do that on every one of those little crossbars there. Be sure to follow me on my social media. I'd love to get to know you better. Okay, so now we're going to start layer on, layering on our prettiness. This is some 24 inch deco mesh. This is one piece that I found at the thrift store. Wasn't really sure what I was going to do with it when I found it, but I was so excited that there's no glitter in it and no metallic in it. I had to have it for something. It turned out perfect for this project. I'm just going to start it off by tucking it in the back and wrapping it around tightly so that it doesn't come apart whenever I am tugging on it to make the little poofs. So now we're going to go down about 12 inches. You can see we're going down 12 inches. Walk in your fingers toward the middle. 
let your sides go under. It's gonna make a better little poof. And then we're gonna go up to the very next little grabbers there, that little section, and we're gonna press it into the frame and then twist it tightly. Okay, so again, we're gonna go down about 12 inches. We're gonna walk it toward each other with our ends under, so the poof's in the middle, just like that. Press it into that section tightly and then give it a twist. And we're going to continue the same process all the way up. We're going to do the same thing across the top. I'm going to gather it up here. I'm having a little trouble here. I don't know what the problem was. There we go. Grabbing it up, bending it over the top. And then we're going to continue all the way back down the side. Feel free to measure these to get exact measurements if you would like. I didn't need to do it that way. I didn't feel the need. So I just guesstimated. Continue all the way around and look at that. I had just enough to go all the way around. Now I'm just going to pull my little poofs out a little bit. Press the first little top edge underneath if it's coming out. That way my sign is going to be, a, you know, you can really be able to see that sign in the middle. Now this is some five inch burlap. There's no wire or anything in here. I'm just gonna use this to go on the outside. I'm gonna tuck it under. You can see how I tucked it under that deco mesh. And the same little process, kind of scrunching it up in the middle and then giving it a twist to hold it in place. We're gonna do this again. About the same thing, it's going to be about the same measurement, about 12 inches. Go up. It's just going to go like a frame on the outside of the deco mesh. So you can see how this is looking. Pushing it together in the middle and then twisting it down. Now, if you don't want to twist it tightly to begin with to make sure that your measurements are about the same, you don't have to twist it in completely tightly and you can certainly untwist it and go back and make adjustments if you need to. Okay, so I'm just gonna go over the top like a little hoodie. You can tell I have kids, right? Yeah. Continuing on around until we're back in our original starting place. You can tuck the edge to the back and cut it off. See there? Okay, so now I've got some thrifted. This is like a linen and glittery orange plus a blue Dollar Tree ribbon. We are going to be cutting these down in 10 inch pieces. And you want to have enough of each ribbon to go in each one of those ties on your swag. So that's what you're gonna see me do here. I'm just gonna start cutting that. And I'm just measuring it against the one before it. Makes it a little easier. Okay, that's me counting to see to make sure I have enough. Then we're going to dovetail the ends to make them nice and neat. I hope you guys are doing some of these crafts that I've been showing you. I hope that you have been trying some of these and that you are at least getting some inspiration from all of the things that I have been showing you. Lots more to come, so be on the lookout. Remember, three videos a week unless the internet says absolutely not. Okay, so I'm going to overlap. I'm going to make an X. going to open up one of those ties, whatever you want to call those. I'm going to twist them in tightly in each of those sections. I'm going to use my fingers to curl those out. Now it's an X. Just make your adjustments however you like. The next one we're going to put in the opposite direction. We're still going to keep the green on top, but we're going to cross it over the other direction. 
I'm going to open that up, question myself for a moment, and then wrap it down. I'm putting these in definitely tighter because I know this is the last thing I'm going to wrap in here. So I'm going to go ahead and tighten them down as much as they need to be before they are tucked away. Continue on the process, alternating the direction of your X's all the way around. Y'all, it is so hot here in southern Alabama. I am ready, ready, ready for some fall breezes, desperately. It's just humid and ugh. I'll stay in the basement and craft. That's what I'll do until it gets cool outside. How does that sound? Good? Good. Okay. So here we go. We only have two left on the bottom. And you can see I'm kind of fluffing them out as I go along. I'm going to place this one down. And twist it in tight. That's some good Dollar Tree ribbon right there. It really holds its form. All right, so I'm concerned about the top of here. So I'm gonna cut off that cord that you would usually use as a hanger. And I'm going to cut a six inch and a five inch piece of this pretty orange and tan ribbon. I am going to dovetail each one of them one will be longer than the other and we're going to make a little bow tie bow. We're going to put the longer piece in the back, the shorter on the front. We're going to pinch it together and then it's going to be so cute. Look at that. Then you're going to just use whatever type of jute you want. You can use your original hanger that you just had on the top of that sign to tie off your bow. I'm going to tie a double knot so nothing comes loose trim it up and look how cute that is. That is super cute. A little hot glue and we'll put it in its new home right at the top on the pumpkin stem. And this is how it looks. Not bad. Not bad at all. So now is the time that we took back all of those little pieces of greenery. Or little pieces of the, I don't even know what to call those things. We're just going to call them tinsel because that's what it looks like. A Christmas tree branch. Tuck them all to the back. Once they are hidden, we're going to take some of this greenery. Now, get yours from the Dollar Tree if you'd like. You can get them anywhere you want. This happens to be something that I thrifted, so I got it very inexpensive. It did come originally from Walmart. It was a $2 clearance item according to the tag that I found on it. I'm going to layer up the pieces of the leaves that I want to use. Some are going to be single, some are going to be doubled. And with a little hot glue, we're going to tuck them in and around those little ribbon sections. If you have some mini pine cones, if you have some berries, if you have some of those little ball ornaments, you could use those. You can add anything you like on your sign to make it your own. That's what we do here. We make it our own, right? I'll make mine the way I like it, and you make yours the way you like it. But feel free to make yours like mine if that's what you like. So you're going to have leaves in all of those sections. And just kind of look and see what looks good. They don't all have to go in the same direction. Totally up to you. I'm going to take a little bit of floral wire, feed it through the deco mesh, twist it around, and we're going to have a little, make a little hanger for it. And there you go. If you want to show this channel some love, you can buy me a coffee. Look in the description box for the link. Okay, number three, mini floral vase. We're going to use a pick from Dollar Tree. We're going to use a... For me, it's a thrifted eucalyptus stem, but you use what you have. 
a scrap of this ribbon that we just used and this is a thrifted little bottle we're going to call it a vase I'm going to take the sea glass paint take it outside give it a good spray down one coat and let it dry and this is our result it's going to match pretty good with what we already have going on so that these three pieces will coordinate we're going to wrap this ribbon around the middle just like this a little bit of hot glue will put this in place and we'll hold it securely on there sometimes it'll slip off of regular glass but I find when you spray paint glass it does give it a little more grip especially if it's not gloss colored and this is not a gloss so now we have our first band in the middle and I'm just gonna take some of this raffia it came in a big bundle that I got at Dollar Tree and I did get it this season so be on the lookout for it I'm going to wrap it wrap it wrap it you see I left one little section out so that we would have an end to tie with now you can just tie a knot or two knots in your raffia just so that it doesn't come loose you could do one knot and a little bit of hot glue if you wanted you could put a little piece of greenery on there just a couple little ideas for you then kind of squish my little rope or my little raffia up so that it's it looks better and then just layer in your pieces how simple is that that's like the simplest thing ever and look how pretty and it is going to coordinate perfectly with the swag that we already have and our pumpkin topiary all right so displayed here are our three pieces I would love to know what you think about this now I have to say I'm stepping outside of the box here for me I like the traditional colors for fall so adding in this aqua turquoise teal blue whatever you want to call this is a little different for me it's a little I don't really know how I feel about it I think it looks really good together as a set I don't know that I would necessarily have a place to display it in my home so these goodies may go to somebody in my family who would like to have them not entirely sure but I think that they look really good together I think that the colors are very complimentary I love how that bluish green looks with the orange I think it looks really nice together but I'm a creature of habit just a creature of habit do you like this do you like the color combination and I would love to know are you going to try any of these if so which one will you be trying and did you find anything inspirational in this video because if you did I would love a thumbs up I would love to hear in the comments what you think thank you so much for stopping by and I'll see you again soon bye